somebody is going through severe attack as exactly when the fasting was declared and you resolved and purposed in your heart to be part of this fasting unlike the past you are in and out but this time you said you will fast you will seek the face of the lord and you will wait on the lord until he answers and comes through for you and it seems as though all hell all hell is breaking loose on you it is starting from your own house your own husband or your wife or your children and it is going into your working place and your brothers and siblings it's like everywhere you turn all hell is breaking loose on you why because this is not an ordinary fast for you why because the devil knew that this fast is going to release a major mega miracle breakthrough and it's in fact the fasting is invoking divine intervention and therefore the enemy says we will frustrate you until you stop this fast we will do what we will frustrate the hell out of you until you stop this nonsense of fasting to disturb our peace because this fasting is you like calling divine help to come and help you out of your problem to come and help you deliver you from your captivity your bondage and to break the evil cycle so there's demons and the witches they've come together say let's frustrate him let's frustrate her let's frustrate her in her sleep in her dreams let's use her own family members to frustrate her her own supervisors her own co-workers her neighbors wherever she goes let us do everything to frustrate her so that she will be so tired and break the fast and give up on the fast because we are distracting her distracting her i came to prophesy to you don't quit the fast don't stop the fast because god is fighting your battles for you that's why the devil is troubling you that's why the devil is disturbing you whenever you are close to a major miracle that's when the devil releases best attacks to try and frustrate you until you quit pursuing the course of the fast to receive that blessing don't stop it you don't stop it today you almost stopped or you even stopped you are you are allowing your enemies to derail you from the path of life that god is trying to use this fasting to bring that major miracle or bring that restoration or breakthrough to you don't allow the devil to cheat you of that blessing don't allow food to cheat you out of that blessing don't allow your family members or people around you to be used as agents sometimes the devil will hire contract even good people around you and tell them to be attacking you when david was going to fight goliath the devil hired his own brother to come and agitate him to come and make him angry so that he will lose his focus of going to fight the giant for the spoil and for for the glory and for him to focus on lesser battles and the enemy is trying to take to 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 distract your attention from god and cause your own spouse cause your own children cause your family members cause your friends cause your work co-workers and as associates cause your supervisors everybody is against you everybody is fighting you and you're asking yourself that things were cool last week but how come that i just declared a fast and it's like even your dreams have changed your dreams and it's like bad dreams here and then you are wondering what's going on why because everything is going on everything is going on everything that must be corrected is going on spiritually and therefore the demons and the witches have come and called for an emergency meeting and the meeting was what can we do to frustrate her harass her embarrass her intimidate her and distract her until she quit and becomes discouraged and some of you are falling into this that de this demonic conspiracy that is working some of you are, are are falling victims i'm tired i'm not fast i'm tired i'm breaking the fast i'm, I'm tired somebody angers you and then you lose your cool and you begin to tell them your peace of mind and you say oh forget about this fast <laughs> because when i didn't call the fast everything was okay immediately i call the fast it's like things are getting worse so why fast but you don't know that every time a major miracle is coming the devil will give you the best fight 
because he knows you are coming out of Egypt, you are coming out of bondage, mm -hmm. you are coming out of that evil cycle. Don't pursue. Go harder in fasting, go harder in prayer, mm -hmm. trust God more, and be focused. Be too focused to be distracted. Mm -hmm. Be too what focused to be what distracted. distracted. Don't let your husband distract you. It's not every battle that you fight. When they talk, you smile and walk away. <laughs> smile. When your husband provokes you, you smile and walk away. And the devil will say, oh, you are foolish. You should have said something. When your, your, your children provoke you, you smile, you walk away. Your friends, you smile, you walk away. Somebody calls you. They want to start becoming nasty. And your own parent or whoever, you, the people are just trying to be mean and provoke you. It is just the enemy telling them, go, 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 agitate her. Go, make her angry. Go, go, go. Cause her to lose her peace, her cool. Go, go, go. Even customers are being used. The devil is using everything he can, throwing every, uh, everyone on board, anybody who he can use to what gets you distracted, gets you agitated, gets you in order for you to lose your focus. But we are wiser than that. But the Bible says that we are not ignorant of the devices of the devil. I want you to know that this fast is changing lives. It is changing destinies. God is doing new things in people's lives. Don't miss out. Don't miss out. Keep your focus and you will see the end of your problems. You will see the end of your crisis. You will see the end of your challenge. You will see the defeat and the vanquishment of your enemies. You will see the Lord exalting your horn like the unicorn at the end of this fast in the name of Jesus. So keep your focus, keep your cool, be calm and collected, and let God fight your battles for you in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray right now. Lord, I need your strength. I need your strength because whatever is going on around me, it is too much distractive. It's, it's distracting. The devil is distracting me, using many issues around me. I need your presence. You need the presence of God to be enveloping around you so that it will, it will make you not sensitive to the distractions coming from your own spouse coming from your own family members coming from your own children coming from your supervisor the, the stress at your workplace the stress with your uh, associate or whoever is the devil is using lord i pray for strength i pray for grace grace to fast grace to not to be angry some of us the devil provokes us to be angry so that in our reactions and behavior we nullify our blessing because we are provoked and we become bitter and we say things we are not supposed to say and these are things taking place in the fiscal realm when you are supposed to be waiting on the lord but the devil is causing people to make you angry the cause the person the devil is using people to get on your nerves the devil is using people to come to make to 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 to, to push you to the limit and you are finding it with co-workers you are finding it at your workplace everybody seems to be provoking you everything everything is seems to be going wrong why because the little miracles that is coming your way the devil wants to do everything to sabotage it it shall not stand say it shall not stand it shall not prosper it shall not stand it shall not prosper lord i pray for grace to stay focused i pray for grace to stay in prayer i pray for grace to stay in your word lord i pray for grace to be led by the holy ghost lord i pray for grace for your presence to take over in the name of jesus begin to pray for grace begin to pray for grace Father, without you, we can do nothing. Your word says, not by mind, not by power, but by your spirit, as the living God. Father God, during this fasting, we need your grace. Grace to fast. Grace to be focused. Give us the grace. Pray for grace. Pray, pray, pray. That the grace of the Lord will be sufficient for you. Pray for fresh anointing. Pray for the spirit of grace to help you to stay focused. Not distracted by any distraction and distractors. Pray for grace not to be overcome by the attacks and the challenges that you are facing. Pray for grace. Lord, I need your strength. Lord, I need your grace. 
Lord, I need your power. Lord, I need you to help me to fix my eyes and focus on you and not my crisis or not my problem, not my challenges and not the things that is going on around me. I pray for the Spirit of God. I pray for the grace of God. I pray for the anointing of God. Baptize me, Lord, with your Holy Ghost and with your power, with your Holy Ghost and with your fire. We pray for grace in the name of Jesus.